We're best known for our intros, but did you also know that RenderForest has outro and end screen templates too? Hi, it's Seto from RenderForest. In this video, I'll be talking about video end screens and outros. The clip that you just watched in the beginning were just a few of our templates that you can use both on and off of YouTube. Here are a few packs that I think you will find especially helpful. For example, the YouTube outro pack, the YouTube end screen pack, and also the YouTube video editing toolkit. We're adding new templates each week. So if you don't see one now that works, check back in the future. Also, keep in mind that if you see a template that's called intro, it doesn't mean that you can't add it to the end of your video. Go ahead, get creative, test it out, and see how it looks. Even if you don't publish to YouTube, end screens and outros are a nice way to wrap up a video or slideshow presentation. It can indicate a clear end and conclusion to your audience. Just make sure that the theme, mood, and aesthetics match the tone of the original video or presentation. You also have the option to use our Graphic Maker tool for a still or stationary image and just extend the time frame at the end of the video and insert the end screen elements on whatever platform that you upload it to. Depending on where you upload, you may have to add your end screen, outro video, or image to the original video during the editing process. Some websites allow you to add it during the uploading process inside the website. Here is how end screens work on YouTube. Before I start, there is a distinction that I wanna make clear. End screen videos, outro videos, end screen images, and outro images are all graphic and stylistic additions that you typically add during the video editing process. YouTube elements are the clickable links added during the uploading process. If you have not already seen my video on YouTube copyright and IP, you can click the link above now to watch that. This is how you add the end screens to videos on YouTube. The end screens can be added to the last five to 20 seconds of your video. You can use them to promote other videos, encourage viewers to subscribe, and more. Just note, your video has to be at least 25 seconds long to have an end screen. Other interactive elements like card teasers and video watermarks will be suppressed during the end screen. End screens are not available for videos set as made for kids. Step number one is to first sign into YouTube Studio. Number two, from the left side menu, select content. Number three, click the video that you'd like to edit. Number four, click the end screen box and choose the element that you want to add. Last, click save. If you select a video element, you can choose to display your most recent upload, best for viewers, or a specific video. If you select the channel element, you can add a custom message. You can also add a custom end screen while the uploading process is happening. As I mentioned, elements are the pieces of content that you add to your end screen. There are many ways to customize your elements in your end screen. You can apply templates, change the timing of your elements, and also decide where the elements will show on your video. Some elements can be expanded or hovered over to give more information. You can add up to four elements in your end screen for videos with standard 16 by nine aspect ratios. Other aspect ratios may have lower limits. One example of an element is a video or playlist. You can feature your most recently uploaded video. You can allow YouTube to select a video that is best suited for your viewer, or you can pick a video or playlist from your channel or another channel. The subscription element encourages subscriptions to your channel. The channel element promotes other channels with a custom message. There's also an element for an external website. If you're in the YouTube Partner Program, you can link to external websites with this element. Which channel do you think has the best end screens or outros? Have you ever seen a video that has a really interesting or unique ending? Let me know down in the comments. Thanks for sticking with us so far. You can use the link down in the description for a discount during checkout. If you found this topic interesting, check out the blog article linked down below also. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and ring that bell for more creative and branding tool tutorials. Thanks, and I'll see you next week.